I think the thing that started me wondering about Agent Orange, I heard initially all of these claims by the veterans. And, you know, my, my initial thought on all that was, look, man, we all went, we did our duties, we need to go on with our lives. But, but what really made me start thinking was when our fourth child was born. And our fourth child was born hydrocephalic. My name is Larry Ralph Cavana. I am currently 66 years old. I went into the Army in 1968. In May of 1969, I went to Vietnam. So what happens is that fluid just keeps building inside of his head. And in essence, because of that pressure, it suppresses the brain from being able to grow. So he's born mentally and physically handicapped. You can imagine as a parent, that was the darkest days of our lives. The more I looked at his condition, the more in the back of my mind, I began to wonder, is, is his, could his condition be because of exposure to Agent R and service to my country? Everything the doctors told us about him not being able to walk and talk and see and hear it turned out not to be right. He, he, he could walk and he could talk. He can talk and he can see and hear. He's 37 years old right now, but mentally he is probably uh, five years old, maybe six. His conditions and the way he is, I believe, were attributable to what I, my service in Vietnam. You know, I have, I have these skin cancers in it, and an oncologist is telling me that it's Agent Orange. I have, I have this heart condition that the VA recognizes, and that they recognize that condition is because of Agent Orange. It's like the puzzle just, pieces just keep falling in place for me. What did it really do to us, and what are the lasting effects to us? And are we all living with these hidden things that we didn't even realize when we were doing our duties. 